Welcome all. I'm going to try to explain how to read a chart for mosaic crochet and mosaic crochet in the round. And this time it is for in the round because um, uh, I make this tutorial and I first want to explain something about the pattern. Uh, when you get a pattern of mine in the round, you only see half the top. I will give you also the picture of how it looks full, but you work only on the chart, a half a chart or even a quarter because it is a triangle like that. Um, I start changing r yarn in the corners. You will see it in my tutorial how I do it. Um, this is the pattern. This is the chart. I will I always always using a tablet because I am a paperless office. I hope this films okay, otherwise I will can do it again on the computer, but my sound is better on this one. Um handy over tablet is you can do this. So you can zoom in very deep. And and this is a mistake, it should be a cross, but that doesn't matter. I will explain it to you. Um so this is the pattern. It will end in something looking like this. I made it already. And uh, I'll tell you how to read it. You see my different colors in the number. A number is a round. Um, I will zoom in a little bit. And if you see, these numbers have different colors. Let me explain this to you. Um, this, the zero, is the magic ring. So that is a round, it's a zero. You start with the magic ring is in this case the dark color, but sometimes it's the light. You start the first round and the magic ring in the same color because it is very hard to start a magic ring and then another color, it's impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but it's not nice. It doesn't matter anyway. So this is your magic ring. Then you see this number one, this one is a dark one, a black one, in a darker color. That means it is uh, the darker color, the darker accent color. If your color is um, orange here in this case, it means it's your lighter color. And here again, it's dark. It's your darker color, round three. And round four is your lighter color. You repeat these patterns four times. I also will make a written pattern. And the first row reads like this. You make a magic ring. I show it. And you do one, two, four times. That means eight single crochets. Let me take the blue as single crochets. That it makes my magic ring and the first round. The second round, you will see, I will cross this one out. This should be an X. The second round, round two, is in the pink color here. And it starts with a corner. A corner starts with a single crochet, a chain, and a single crochet. And then the pattern is a double crochet in the magic ring. And I show that in my tutorial how to do it. Row 2 is included in the tutorial, in the video tutorial, so you don't have to guess. And another single crochet. And you do that four times. See? So you do this one time, one time, one time, and then you repeat it for all the sides, because a square has four sides. You see here, row number three is a darker color. It's in the blue again. So it's your darker color. And it starts again the same. Here is nothing, so it's a single crochet. Your corner is always chain one and then a single crochet. All in that single crochet of the pink here. So you get a single crochet in here, a single crochet in here and here is your chain. I hope that makes sense. And then you follow the pattern. That is a standard double crochet front loop. For this one, we only use the back loop here. This one goes to the front because it makes our pattern. 
so it's a front loop one row down in the same color because this is a dark number or a dark x so it's in the same color as where you crochet in then this is a single crochet because it has no x in it it goes into the back loop and this one is an x it's a double crochet and it goes in the front loop of our previous round in the blue so not in the pink but in the blue so it covers this pink here and goes over here then we have another corner because we have four corners in a square it's the same corner as this one you do a single crochet in the back loop of the pink a chain one and a single crochet all in the back loop of the pink and if you would like to turn it and see it here if you would have that would be another x and that would be a double crochet in that same loop here front loop so you get a blue v like this and here it would be the same it would be an x and to get a little bit messy my screen and it would be also a double crochet in that front loop of the corner and that is how you read my charge i will explain try to explain the pink one let me try to erase everything so it's not so cluttery so we've done this row the magic ring we've done this one the first blue row so stripe that out we've done this one the second one i've explained this one and now i'm going to do the pink one because this is a lighter color for i took it orange to make it clear it is in the light color you see it's in the light color this is your lighter color so this in my case it was pink in the tutorial you can of course use any color you like please do um and i start changing my color here and this is my first single crochet and it goes in the back loop of that blue here back loop only then your chain one and your single crochet because there's no x here so to be honest i start here and not diagonal so we start here and you see then you get your double crochet in the light color front loop only x here so double crochet this is not nothing so it's a single crochet don't look at the color because that will be defined by the next row we are simply working in row four one color only don't change it it's a single crochet back loop of that blue one here then we have an x that means we have a double crochet in that other x here that should be an x i will change it so a front loop double crochet same color then we have again a single crochet back loop of that blue x here see the back loop and then we have an x and that is going to be in that front loop and the front loop that was that chain we made here so a double crochet front loop of that chain it's a little bit you have to find it you have to dig it out a little bit and then for the corner a single crochet a chain single crochet and here you could read an x again that goes again in that same front loop of your row two and then here would be if you follow the pattern a single crochet and a double crochet but I only show you this because you just repeat it four times because a square has four times so you start here and then you repeat it I will write this out till here so I will write this till this out and then I say four times and then you have the pattern I hope this makes it a little bit more clear it's just reading the pattern it's not designing the pattern it's reading your axis what it means what it says if you have any questions let me know in my 
a Facebook group, send me a message, send me an email, uh, uh, place a question under the, the video link, whatever. Um, I'm here to explain, not to make life more difficult. And sometimes I'm not the best teacher in the world. And then my explanation is a little bit weird or it's too much Dunglish because for origin, I'm Dutch living in Nottingham. And um, yeah, well, that's it. I hope that makes it a little bit clear. And it's a long uh, video, but it's really worthwhile to take your time to sit down and watch a pattern and see how it is written. You see the dark colors here, that is the pattern that will be followed. And if you see my pattern, it resembles it a little bit. See the cross in the middle, here your lighter color here. And then you see this little zigzag thingy going around. Let me see it to you, show it to you there. There. And I hope this is clear. I hope I helped you. And, um, well, happy hooking. Thank you.